Hello and welcome to this week's Live Local and Loud with me, Kevin Gorn. On this week's show, I shall be chatting to young local multilingual rapper himself, Ali Flex. And also I'll be playing lots of homegrown music by local bands. Hello, hello, hello. I hope you're having a great week and I hope you're all well. What better way to kick this week's show off with a little bit of Michael Vickers and Don't Stop featuring Isla Wolf. Walking back late from that oh so familiar place, the place I love, some people may know it as the pub. Stomach what I drank instead of bringing it up Woke up in the morning wondering what I'd done The old silent treatment greets me as you turn my cheek And I clumsily miss the kiss I tried to land cause I'm still And I can't stand it when you're in a mood like this I understand I must have said something in jest that you just mistook us I can't deny it, I know it, and you do too, we all do Let's address the elephant in the room I love a drink too much, but not as much as I love you Yet I can't stop myself from topping up as soon as it's the afternoon I never want to stop, but I may have to soon And ain't it tragic that I smash it, why do I do that to you? Yesterday, okay? Let's just forget it and move on. No sense in dragging that shit on throughout today. And what about tomorrow? Can't we look forward? Try and push things along instead of just wallowing in our sorrow? I don't really wanna follow you around for eternity like a lost puppet. That ain't gonna work. I don't wanna have these raging rows, then go back to talking about married kids and leaving town. Let's bring this down to earth. Living in the clouds with all these thoughts, scared of breaking down the walls and letting out how we feel about it all. To listing all the flaws that we used to like before And using them for counting scores Well that just makes me doubt it more Why can't we stop things slowing? We never had to work to make it work Don't stop, move on, keep going Yeah, stop looking for the worst Alright, that's enough now I said that's enough now, put it down Swing your fists around the lines like Bruce Lee and I swear when we first met you never said that you'd act out Smash up the house, wow, for I was the one who does the gun But I must admit, I have a part to play in this One half of the relationship and I shouldn't wind you up like that Half an hour or so ago we were pretty sound Now we're at each other's throats and once again we're finished in how I truly think that if you tighten up your grip The harder you hold on to it, the easier it slips Easier it slips. Why can't we stop things slowing? We never had to work to make it work. Don't stop, move on, keep going. Yeah, stop looking for the That was the wonderful Michael Vickers and Don't Stop featuring Isla Wolf. Of course, he's got his monthly night um, tomorrow, actually, on Friday the 1st of March, upstairs at the Western down um, Narborough Road in sunny Leicester. Once a month, he runs a night called uh, Acoustic, an Acoustic Night upstairs at the, Vic, at the Western, uh, where he has a couple of really good acoustic artists. 
Um, this week on Friday, he's got Leicester-based acoustic artist Andrew Moran. He's a young chap. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff on the guitar. Uh, it says here he's got a degree in songwriting and has a large repertoire of well-known songs and some originals as well. And also we've got Roz Devlin. Roz Devlin, who's a second year music tech student at DMU, who's self-taught on guitar and the singer of a funk band called Brazilian Barbers, no less. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, so they're tomorrow night, the 1st of March, at Upstairs at the Western, in um, just up Narborough Road in sunny Leicester. Okay, so now it's time for Our Souls and Ferryman. This is bad comedy. was the crazy Our Souls and Ferryman. They can next be seen live on March the 16th, 2024. Uh, they're going to be playing in Oldham at the Bank Top Tavern uh, with a whole load of other bands, Modern Shakes, Tear Jerker, The Crash Mats, Be Fair, Our Souls, Sprainer and All Out Attack. So that's free entry, March the 16th, 2024. If you happen to be out of uh, Oldham way they're playing at the bank top tavern so yeah great stuff from them absolutely absolutely crazy band to see live highly recommend them um so that was our souls now it's a bit of spell gaze and abyss Mars and 
fly me from the cages above Wind rolls up from the distance There's no place that I'd rather be Leave me a sweet poison and Drown away the noise Take me in your arms one day And let me know I'm yours Because my seams are falling apart I'm hiding from the light in the dark I just want to be numb I wish that I was done To feel your skin once more To hold your hands in mine To kiss your snow It's all fine Oh, please say time Please remind Sink with me in the office Please say time Please remind Fade away in the darkness Please say time Please remind Free me from the office Please say time Please remind Fade away the darkness That was Spellgaze and Abyss. They can next be seen on the 12th of March, Tuesday the 12th of March, at Billy Bootleggers in sunny Nottingham. 
Um, yes, and they're going to be playing with Ferminant, Cheap Dirty Horse and Retina. So that's 12th of March at Billy's, otherwise known as Billy Bootleggers in Nottingham. Okay, so great stuff from them. That's brilliant. So that was Spell Gaze. Now it's time for this week's little interview where I'm chatting to local uh, multilingual rapper himself, Ali Flex. But first of all, we'll start off with one of his songs. It's Ali Flex and Lucky C, Terry Dunia Seraba. When you look at the flex, when you look at the Leicester clock tower, they better mention me when they talk about Leicester. We have power. Smoking that shisha left, right, center, girls are twerking. Haters ain't my level, so I will be murking. Haters, haters, who's haters karma? If they punch me in the face, I will push them harder. My flow so sick, like a drug addiction. MC's trying to find out how I caught the infection. This is what we get. Uh. Uh. Kid. Sick on the verse and the beat every time I start eating it My rhymes are raw, define as pure Empower yourselves in times of war Don't cry no more, you wanna find a cure? Just do you, make time for the Lord You wanna be living, don't be feeling in prison You got a minimum vision, you be getting conditioned self inhibition, start switching position How release the mission when breaking the system Dealing with feelings, revealing your groan Defeating your demons, sit back on the throne It's back to business, the beat knocks harder than Jehovah's Witness At your home, yeah This is what we get, uh. That was Terry Dunia Seraba by Ali Flex and Lucky C. And we've only gone and got Ali Flex on this week's show. He's this week's extra special guest here on Live, Local and Loud. So hello there, Ali. How am I finding you today? Are you well? I am fine, thank you, Kevin. How are you, sir? I'm 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 pretty good today, Ali. Um, all the better for chatting to you because I haven't spoken to you for a good couple of years now. Yes, it's always been a pleasure to like you know be on your show and give me the opportunity to come down and uh, speak to you. So it's been a long time. So there's a lot to catch up. Oh, that's it. And thank you, mm, thank you very much, and thank you very much for chatting with he with me here today on my lovely little show. So Ali, yeah. yes. Now just remind us. Um, we've now where let's let's like all good stories. Let's start at the beginning so just briefly how did your journey into making wonderful rap music that you do today how did that begin so it all started in 2014 and uh, you know and also i formed a group called team flex um a lot of credit goes to few of my fellow artists who are still there with me they're very loyal 
especially Dibs, who's always been there thick and fast you know, oh, throughout yes. my music. We spoke to Dibs a few weeks back. Yeah, as I said, like with him, it's not just friends. We're like brothers from one another, mother, we could say, you know. Oh, we've always been in touch with each other, even before, you know, on the, on the interview, I just spoke to him not long ago. <laughs> so very, very tight. Wow, very, very close. I started off in 2014, started the group Team Flex, and then from there, my journey started, you know, I started, uh, you know, trying to learn the music thing. So I was still at my infancy um, as, as, as it went by, like, you know, I was making music, but obviously there was a lot of room for improvement. But uh, there's been a time where I had a few, few uh, glitches as well, where a few years I was away. But again, thanks to Dibs, he kind of got me back into the music game. Mm. Um, there are other people who played a lot of part in my musical journey, like Lucky C, wow. who's a very, very great rapper, inspirational rapper. Um, so, yeah, there are a lot of people that helped me out because there was a time where I just thought I'm just going to wrap it all up. But then, you know, mm. because of their support, um, I came back. And then a few years after, I did a great comeback. And, you know, from 2020 and 21. It's just from there, it's just like nonstop. I've just been performing and, you know, making music and, you know, and I'm not, I haven't stopped since then. Why did, why, why did you want to make music in the first place though, Ali? What, what, what was it that made you think, oh yes, I could, I could write something. Uh, <laughs> right. So what it was like, you know, I always wanted to be into entertainment because, you know, I always wanted to be into media and stuff like that. Uh, the first thing kind of inspired me because I got another friend called Desi Buff who did a track with Lucky C. Oh. And from there, he gave me a little bit of inspiration as well. And then I thought, you know what, I want to really do this. But, you know, and then after that, what happened then? Because he was making the music video, I got in touch with Dibs. And then I got to know Lucky. And then from there, you know, because they had the links with like all the music studios and producers and stuff like that, it gave me a bit of a bit more opportunity to like explore that kind of, you know, thing. And I thought, let me do a bit of rapping, see how it works. And it turned out, you know, I was pretty decent. And also some of the, when I went to the studios, a lot of the producers said, you know, you got a good, you got a good voice, you know, you can rap, you got a good flow. Yeah, it's a good thing to do and, you know, keep going. And then from there, I just got the inspiration and then I started like, you know, performing wow. and also like, you know, making music and then, you know, had a group and then it just, it just, it just yeah. happened like that really. And then I, it, there was no stopping back since then. So, you know, it was, yeah. You're a bi bilingual rapper. So what's your other language? It's English and... Uh, when, bilingual i would say multilingual to be honest because wow. i speak four or five languages <laughs> so for the grace of god i'm very thankful that i'm naturally kind of like when i go to places i kind of adapt quite a lot of things so and i kind of like learn few languages which is a great armor because you know people love this because mm -hmm. they can say oh you know he could rap obviously he raps in english then i rap in hindi rap in um, Urdu, and then I rap in my, my mother tongue, Bengali. But also, um, in the future, you'll be listening to me Punjabi as well. Like, I'll be rapping in Punjabi. So out of all those languages then, um, which do you prefer to rap in? There's no doubt I prefer English. Okay. And why? <laughs> what, what is it? Why? Why? Because it's one of those things like, you know, you know, me being born and brought up here, you know, oh, oh, no disrespect. I do love Bengali. You know, I could speak it. I could speak very fluently. Urdu is another language as well. It's a beautiful language. But English, you know, as I said, you know, I grew up like, like you know, I've learned English and that. And to be honest, it's, it's more comfortable and it's a universal language. Everybody understands it. And it's, it's, an, yeah. it's, it's an international language. So I think the reason why I say that is because everybody understands it. So for me, obviously, number one is English. So the song we've just played then, Terry Dania Serraba, what, what language yes. is, it, is that in? Um, the person who's singing on it, which is a female rapper, it's like a sample rap. Right. So she's rapping um, in Urdu. Oh. So it's kind, of, it's kind of similar to Hindi. Right. So, you know, um, so that's what she's rapping in. And uh, basically what she's trying to say is, you know, this world, like, you know, God in this world, you know, yeah. you know what kind of like way to deserve this? But still, you know, I'm happy the fact that, you know, I still pray that, you know, uh, still I've got no no regrets or issues with you. Although you gave me this kind of pain or suffering, I'm still going to be strong and like, you know, what did I do to deserve it? But I'm still going to be like, you know, happy and just like, you know, go go along with it, take it to the chin. So that's what mm. it means, really. Is yeah. it and we had a really good time as well. Is it important? Um, is it important to you to have sort of, sort of like a positive, hopeful lyric in your in your songs? I tried to mix it up. Um, what I did do is, um, 
you know, I tried to do something different last year where I've been doing a lot, a lot, a lot of like, um, like all the hype tracks, like, you know, all the, you know, all the, all the tracks that like guess everybody jump in. But I tried to change a little bit where I tried to do last year. I did a sad love song. Um, you, you played that track called, there's a track called Nena Lagia Barisha, which is a very emotional and very sad love song where it's just a fictional story of me. Like it's called something what goes around, what comes around, where I basically fell in love with a woman. And then what I did to her, I cheated on her and went with another woman. Mm -hmm. But then she left me because she got hurt. But I got like what you call what goes around, comes around. So it's karma. So that girl did the same to me and she cheated on me. And then I begged her to stay, but she left. But then I realized that what goes around, what comes around. But in that one, I wanted to be with that other girl, but not to be in a relationship. I want to meet her one once only one time just just for her forgiveness and if she forgives me that's all that i need she doesn't have to be with me so that's that's kind of, that's for the track that i've done which means a lot to me so it was nice to do something like that and also some lovely dovey tracks as well which i've done so something right. different yeah gosh was that a true story then that one no it's a fictional story ah, it just, it's, right. well, it, to be honest i'm not gonna lie these things do happen in real life but i kind of made that track and i made a video of it it's a very low budget video you could go on youtube but we're just trying to show that like you know I was with this girl and then I did that with her. But it's all fictional. We just we just oh, want to cook okay. a story up just to want to make it look interesting. I've had a look at some of your videos as well. Some of them are amazing. Uh, it seemed like really well yeah, done. Yeah. To be honest, Kevin, 2021 was my prime time where I did a lot of big, big budget videos. Wow. After that, 2022, I made a few low budget videos. But out of all of them, the biggest hit that I ever had was with Lucky C and the track that he just played, Teri Dunya Surabba. That has been absolute viral because it had it's got like I, I think about fifty thousand views on YouTube. Plus, it had a lot of airplays. It had a lot of a lot of like a lot of people like it was probably one of the best tracks I ever done and one of the most successful tra tracks that me and Lucky C had. So it's one of my most successful tracks of all time oh, wow. to date. Okay. And your YouTube, YouTube yes, channel, yeah. what's that called? How do people find it? Uh, my YouTube channel is called Ali Flex, but they could always like type in the link uh, Ali Flex Official. Okay, well, now it's time to play another one of your songs. We're going to play Teen. Would you like to Teen? Uh, did, did I pronounce that correctly? <laughs> yeah, it's Teen. Teen. Okay. Teen, that's uh, it, Teen, yeah. So, what does that mean? What's it about? And what language is it in? Yes, this was a very, very exciting project that I did last year year in 2023 it was literally a multi-international kind of a collaboration so obviously you know rx so because you played a lot of his tracks and you know i mentioned about him previously on your show as well mm -hmm. so basically what we did we had like three different countries representatives so i was from the uk rx so was from bangladesh and uh, uh, a young chap who's a very very young rising star he'll be very, very big i hope uh, his name is Radar zeshan from pakistan so what we did is he wrapped in well our Rx Sopi starts off with Bengali and then Sardar Deshan, Sirishan, sorry, he raps in Punjabi and Urdu and then I rap in English and Hindi. So it was a multi-international kind of collaboration. And that was probably last year the biggest the biggest video I've done uh, mm. so far. So that has been absolutely fantastic. The music and everything was like on point. We were all rapping in different styles. And it's one of my personal favorites for 2023. Probably one of the best tracks I've done uh, last year, no doubt. Excellent. Let's hear it. Here's Teen by RX Opu, Sada Zishan, and Ali Flex. Janbi shash to me, I'm a nishash kere nile on the car revalu chilla malu jele keno ele to be keno chole gele ya kare ke ama ke hazar costo de ar porro valu bashi tu ma ke mo ne ripin jorai pusha rak se ekta moi na ashe shomai kharra boila amar shate kota koi na bangla basha marti basha songi the decoron rap rhythm and poetry hip hop amoron gan bangla the hoy bangla hoy bangla the kine mo the hoy din e din e ayu ko me shomai hole jai the hoy din din bak pane rak bak marti probu bok to manush khati na shay shok to bojana mo n boka bak shay Sharakon, Manu Sorbo Sasto Amra Barre Barre Bulejai, Balaman Chardam, Nayar Modu Toya Bishkai, Mazra de Gan Leki Sokenaga Guma Mar, Shokolotar Kudamone Bujana Shemona Mar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that is. 
ਇਹ ਮੁੰਡੇ ਵੇਖ ਕੇ ਹੋ ਜਾਂਦੇ ਮੈਨੂੰ ਸ਼ੌਕ ਬਰਡਰ ਪਾਰ ਸਾ ਫਿਰ ਚਾਇਆ ਕਿਉਂਕਿ ਮੈਂ ਖਾਸ ਅਸਲ ਚਾਰੀ ਐ ਸਿਰਫ ਗੱਲਾਂ ਨਹੀਂ ਕਰਦੇ ਬਰੋ ਤੇ ਪਰਜੰਡਿੰਗ ਪਾਕਿਸਤਾਨ ਦੀ ਸੀ ਹਿਪ ਹਾਪ ਨਾ ਕਰੋ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਲੋਕ ਭੇਜੇ ਮੁਝੇ ਪਿਆਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਬਿਲਾ ਵਜਾ ਖਾਤੇ ਮੁਝੇ ਖਾਰ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਆ ਕੇ ਮੁਝੇ ਬਰੋ ਬਰੋ ਬੋਲਦੇ ਐ ਬਹੁਤ ਸਾਰੇ ਜਲਸ ਪਰ ਨਹੀਂ ਸਤੇ ਕੁਝ ਕਾਰ ਭਾਈ ਆ ਕੋ ਚਿਲ ਪੂਰੇ ਸੀਨ ਪੇ ਐ ਨਜ਼ਰ ਕੌਣ ਕਿਤਨੇ ਪਾਣੀ ਮੇ ਐ ਸਕੇ ਮੁਝੇ ਖਬਰ ਕਿਤੀ ਹਸਲ ਅਸਲੀ ਔਰ ਕੌਣ ਕੌਣ ਫੇਕ ਐ ਸਕਾ ਮੁਝੇ ਪਤਾ ਹੈ ਕਿ ਕੌਣ ਕਿਤਨਾ ਨੇਕ ਐ ਬਿਲਾ ਵਜਾ ਪੰਗੇ ਤੋਂ ਪੇਰੋਂਗੇ ਛੋਟੇ ਦੰਗੇ ਸਾਨੂੰ ਨਹੀਂ ਪਸੰਦ ਕਿ ਕਿ ਫਾਲ ਤੋਂ ਚੁੱਕਾਂਗੇ ਜਾਨ ਵੀ ਆ ਦਿੰਦੇ ਜੇ ਕੋਈ ਪਿਆਰ ਨਾਲ ਮੰਗੇ ਵੈਰੀਆਂ ਦੇ ਵੈਰੀ ਤੇ ਯਾਰਾਂ ਲਈ ਅਸੀਂ ਜਿਵੇਂ ਆ ਯੇ ਯੇ ਇਸ ਫਲੈਕਸ ਆ ਬੈਕ ਵਿਚ ਯੂ ਟਾਈ ਯੋ ਓਕੇ ਓਕੇ ਅਬ ਤੇ ਦੇ ਹੀ ਪੀਕ ਇਰਾ ਤੇ ਹੀ ਨੇਕ ਸਟੂਡੀਓ ਕੋ ਚੈੱਕ ਸਿਰਫ ਤੇ ਤੇ ਵਨ ਟੇਕ ਮੈਸਾ ਪੀਕ ਤਰਮਾਸ਼ਾ ਪੀਕ ਕਲੀ ਕੇ ਕੁੱਤੇ ਮਾਥਾ ਟੇਕ ਜਸ ਗੈਟ ਆਊਟ ਮਾਈ ਕੇਸ ਆਲ ਸਪੀਟ ਔਨ ਯੂ ਫੇਸ ਜਸ ਮੂਵ ਆਊਟ ਦ ਵੇ ਓ ਯੂ ਬੀ ਲੇਸ ਪੀਪਲ ਆਸ ਮੀ ਹਾਮ ਸੋ ਮੂਟੀ ਲਿੰਗੋਲ ਆਮ ਜਸ ਲਾਈਕ ਸੈਂਟਰ ਆਈ ਲਾਈਕ ਟੂ ਜਿੰਗੋ ਵਿਦ ਦਿਸ ਫਲਾਈ ਚਿਕਸ want to mingle as back of the lives with the twinkle rx popu bangladesh ki aan shaan sardar zishan pakistan ki aan baar hum teen bhais rap ke chupatan rap karte rahenge jab tak hai jaan little cool soldiers we not to drop fiin that's why the track is cool that was Teen by RX Oppu, Sardar Zishan and Ali Flex. And this week's interview is with the bilingual rapper himself, Mr. Ali Flex. Ali, did I pronounce that correctly? Absolutely correctly. You pronounced it perfectly. Teen. Okay. What does teen actually mean? Uh, teen means three. So the track is related to three of us because there's three of us. So different. So there's three of us. So that's why I... it was my idea to have the title track called teen which oh. means in bengali and hindi and urdu uh, it means it means three so three of us oh okay brilliant okay <laughs> yeah ali so tell me now um now you were born and bred in leicester is that correct yes i was born and bred in leicester yeah leicestershire area i spent most of my life there so yeah is it a good place for a rapper to start out would you say i think uh, it's a little bit tough because there's so much tough competition out there so there's plenty of really really good good rappers in the leicester leicester scene sorry um so it is it can be a bit difficult i think um i think surprisingly if you were in london or birmingham i think they seem to be more kind of like you get more of that thing where you know you seem to get more, more kind of like um notice more and you get that more of a support um in leicestershire is not quite the scene no disrespect to leicester but i've noticed that like you know cuz i've seen other artists who are similar to like me who were you know in 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 london especially in birmingham they seem to be like the local people and their their community and even like other people seem to support the local artists um so you know i think uh, that's the thing but as i said like you know there is a lot of competition but maybe if i was like in london or birmingham then maybe i would have been noticed more than i'm in leicestershire have you got any tips for any aspiring young rappers just starting out i presume one of them is moved to birmingham or london <laughs> <laughs> um what i would say is you know keep doing what you like doing you know um as i said even if it's a hobby or a passion keep doing what you like doing there will be hurdles because you're all going to have criticisms you're all going to have people yeah. trying to put you down and say things because we know that in social media especially in cyber stuff like that there are a lot of people who try and troll you around trying to put you down and do things because they got nothing else to do uh but you just have to stay strong and ignore that you know and just carry on what you need to do and just love what you're doing and you know ignore all the negativity and just do what you need to do mm-hmm. and you know just do what you love really and just you know just don't listen to others if they're trying to put you down or anything because you know i are the way i say is haters are motivators so if you do hear mm-hmm. a lot of hate just get motivated and be more strong and that makes you more stronger so make that as a a um a positive strong tool okay. to make you more stronger so you you gee up more and like you know more positive so you do more better things and you get more uh, um motivated really 
yeah absolutely yes i totally agree actually that's a good point that's a bit of a wrap there isn't it hate is uh what, what did you say hate you, hate, you hate, hate is our motivators motivate. Yes. <laughs> haters haters are motivators. Haters, haters are, are motivators. motivators. Excellent. There's a little rap we've just we've just dreamt up. <laughs> haters are motivators. Don't think I've seen you perform much. Do you prefer performing or recording music or video? Um actually I like to do both. Uh surprisingly last year I did perform perform at Leeds uh, Beeston Festival. So I did do one live performance. Oh. Uh so you know, um yeah, you know, so I have done that and i'm hoping this year i'll be doing some performances as well so that's one thing that i've been lacking uh for the last few years where i've not been doing any live shows mm. so definitely you know um i will be doing some more shows you know uh so it was good it was good though. at least i did one under my belt i had one gig under my belt so this year i'll be hoping to uh do more than one so yeah you know um it'll be good you know, if I can get more gigs. But yeah, last year I did do one gig. Do you enjoy doing live gigs? It can be very, very exciting. But then again, every artist, if you talk to them, whenever they go on the stage, everybody does feel nervous. Although they've been there thousands of times, there's always that, you know, that feeling, butterflies in the stomach and the nerves. But once you go in there, you're a different animal. You know, you know, you go in yeah. there, you do your performance. And then once you come back, you're like, <gasps> and then you ask everybody, how did I do? How did I do? Because I was doing that. But then when you look at it, like, oh, wasn't it? But you think about it and you think like, how did I perform? How did I perform? And then you just suddenly, the adrenaline rush just starts pumping up and you get so excited and you get by the crowd and get really G'd up. So it's, yeah. it was good because it's been a while, but, you know, it was nice to me going there. I was a bit nervous. I'm not going to lie, but, mm. you know, had a bit of cobwebs, but kind of brushed it out and just like, you know, just went then just had fun really yeah Excellent. great stuff so you've got no more no gigs lined up uh yet for this not year, yet then? not yet but i am trying to do the beeston festival again for leeds because that was a good experience but i'm going to try and see uh any mellows like any mellows i want to do some mellows so i will be applying for a few mellows and then maybe some other shows i've mm. got another radio show lined up as well which is like a bangla bangla radio station in london Oh, a right. guy mm. approached me yeah a guy approached me there but i'll be speaking in bengali on that one so wow. you know so that's more of the, for the bengali crowd so he did approach me he did say that he will into me within the next month or two. Oh, excellent so okay. you know because he's got a new radio show open so brilliant um have you got any any yes. um any other projects any projects on the go ali that we need to know about yes i do uh yeah before uh, projects i just want to mention that i have released three eps in the last few years before we last oh. spoken so i've released three eps which was like um, a great experience for me so you know that's another thing i achieved wow uh so you know and they're all on the major online musical stream pl platforms and stuff like that so if anyone wants to check them out you know obviously it's on 150 stores but the main one are apple uh, spotify these uh, amazon music youtube music so yeah it's all there so if anyone wants to check them out they're most welcome to and it's ali flex across the board yes that's right <laughs> absolutely it's quite unique, and talking no? about future projects yeah yes. talking about future projects yes let's go to future projects um i've not done a group track for a while so i'm thinking of doing a group like all my fellow artists that's including dibs uh mr otp who is the ceo of um it, flex squad international uh flex squad uh records international limited which is our our record label that we signed up with and who's the and the main ceo is sarah clement so mm -hmm. she is our ceo so we're a registered um company private company so you know and otp mr otp is also the ceo of i mean deputy ceo of the record label company and also he's a he's, he's a performer as well so i will be doing wow. a group tracks i'll be doing a few group tracks with the team um and also some solos so yeah i'm looking forward to it yeah so i'm um, i'm mainly this year because i haven't done a group track for a while so, so i'll be doing some group, group tracks yeah but by group track all these people will be doing a, a rap on the song absolutely all of the people oh, also right. i'm going to try and get associate lucky like see us there as well. and also try and see if i could get our because he's part of the team flex crew as well internationally so flex squad records so trying to get him as well so we'll see how it goes anyway so a lot of group tracks i'm focusing on more than my solo this time around and then yes perhaps... and also and, and also some good videos as well high Excellent. quality videos big budget and, videos <laughs> and, and perhaps some live performances at too funky or something like that yes actually um 
you know, me, Lackey, Div's been networking. We've been like, you know, looking out for gigs. Uh, there's few shows going on in Too Funky. Mm-hmm. Then there's another, there's, there's another place. I just forgot. Lackey kind of like got in touch with me saying there's like an open mic sessions. So I might be going there, doing some sessions there, maybe at some point. That's so true, yeah. yeah, there are some, there's some Leicester's. That's one thing. Good thing about Leicester is, um, They've got a lot of like open mic sessions, give opportunities for rappers to come and perform. So, you know, it's going to be a good experience. So hopefully, you will, you know, if I do get in one of them, definitely let you know about it. And if you can pop down as well, that'd be great. Yeah, <laughs> if you definitely. Get the time. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so we're running out of time now. So just finally, yes. so people can follow you by checking out Ali Flex across all the uh, all the all the uh, social media platforms. Is that right? Yes, I'm all I'm on the usual uh, social media platforms. So Facebook, uh, Ali Flex, Ali Flex official. Uh, well, X, formerly known as Twitter. Uh, Ali Flex official, oh, yeah. uh, Instagram Ali Flex official, YouTube Ali Flex again at Ali Flex official. Um, yes, yeah, so you know they could they could like follow me everywhere and also all the major music video. I mean, oh sorry, not video. All the music uh, outlets as well, like you know Spotify, Deezer, Amazon. You know, so you're you're pretty it, much every, everywhere. You got it nailed. Yeah. Also, like like also the free ones as well, like SoundCloud, yeah. Audio Mac, Reverb Nation, brilliant. Uh, That's sound awesome. Sound Click. Yeah. Everywhere. Excellent. Everywhere. Excellent. Good. 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 Okay. Well, before we go, thank you very much for chatting with us here today on my little live yeah. local and yeah. loud. Ali, it's been great catching up. And before Kevin, we go, it's we're going to play. Pleasure. Be pleasure talking to you. That's quite yeah, all you. right. And before we go, we're going to play your latest banger that we've already played here a couple of times on Live <laughs> Local and Loud. It's uh, Feeling Me. Um, would you just like to give us a bit of background information? How did the inspiration come to you? That one, um, again, it's one of those, one of my typical flirty tracks. It's just about a girl. Um, he sees her at a, at a place in a bar or a club, you know, because I'm going to do a music video on it. Um, so then he just checks her out and he's like, kind of like checking around thinking that, you know what, she needs to be my girl and I'm going to try to impress and flirt around with her and see if I could get her. So it's just one of those typical kind of flirty tracks, just go in there, meet, you know, seeing a girl, love I try and see if I could somehow kind of like, you know, get, you know, get, get in track with the teller that, look, I really like you. I'm a bit curious about you. Try and see if I could chat her up and be my girl. So, you know, and also at one point, you know, I even say at the end, like, you know, maybe there could be something more deep going on. Maybe it could be my wifey as well. So, oh. yeah, it's just one of those flirty tracks, really, just trying to get the girl and impress her and, like, you know, make her my, <clears throat> make her my girl. <laughs> is it based on your own experience or is it fictional? Again, it's a fictional. Um, oh. And I'm, I'm hoping to do a music video for that one this year, hopefully. And that will be my first music video, hopefully, that would be Brilliant. released. That'll be exciting because, as I say, your video, video is really, really good. Very good. Excellent. I well, tried thanks, to, yeah. <laughs> thanks very much for chatting with us today, Ali. And here's Feeling Me by Ali Flex, the latest single.
That was me chatting to young local multilingual rapper himself, Ali Flex. So, yeah, great to catch up with him. OK, so now it's time for Stevie Jones and the Wildfire from their album, which was rele released late last year. That's late 2023. It's Stevie Jones and the Wildfires and Clarity in Dusk uh, from the album of the same name. So tired of feeling so low again Can't seem to find my way through the day Full of self-doubt and my whole body aches Need to cut through the struggles I face World of corruption Short-term thinking gets short to reach day Narcissism replacing rational thought Instincts are gone, we all can be bought And out above echoes the wood Pheasants are stark as I walk through Embracing silence in nature I trust Here I will find wonderful stevie jones and the wildfires and from the album of the same name clarity in dusk they can next be seen on friday the 19th of april 2024 um in peterborough at the talbot hotel in oundle in peterborough and also is playing on friday the 5th of april 2024 um at the shire horse in corby uh, yeah, so because he's from around that neck of the woods, Northamptonshire. OK, brilliant stuff from him. And now it's time for a bit of The Fugilists and Shattered Dreams.
That was The Fugilists and Shattered Dreams. Didn't have time to play the whole track there, um, but don't fear if you'd like to see them live. I'm not sure if they're going to play that track, but they'll play many, many others. Uh, they can be seen on Saturday the 23rd of March 2024 in Sunny Whittick. They're going to be playing at the Hare and Hounds just up the road in Sunny Whittick. So that's The Fugilists playing at the Hare and Hounds in Whittick on Saturday the 23rd of March 2024. If you want to catch up with them on their Facebook um, page, then just type in The Fugilists, all one word. That brings us to the end of another live Local and Loud with me, Kevin Gorn. I hope you enjoyed the show. Don't forget, if you want to see what uh, what gigs are going down locally, check out our very handy gig guide in www.musicinleicester.co.uk. Also, don't forget, if you want to listen to any previous live local and louds and the interviews therein, check out musicinleicester.co.uk and you'll see a handy playlist on the right-hand side. So do have a great week and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday here at Hermitage FM at 5 o'clock.